Hi! Ah! Oh my gosh. Recently damaged. Repairable in two minutes and third. Are you kidding me? I'm damaged now. Stop! Why? Why does the wind keep changing so dramatically? What's up guys, I'm Vortech and welcome back to Atlas. Earlier today I was playing by myself on the Salvation server and I actually did record a normal episode, but I kind of got to rambling because in this video we're going to talk about solo play, but there was so much going on while I was trying to talk about it that I thought maybe I'll record, re-record this part. So the footage you're seeing is from earlier today, but we do jump back in and get into that part you just saw a second ago with the preview and all the chaos that was going on. Yeah, that, that catches up, and you should probably stick around for it. But uh, today I wanted to address my thoughts on playing Atlas solo. In the last video, I talked about my thoughts on just getting the game in general. And someone asked me in the comments, I noticed you're playing solo, you know, how's that going? Do you recommend it? And I thought, you know, I answered in the comments, but I thought, you know what? I can say a lot more about this, actually. So I want to spend the first part of this video today, while you watch this footage of me kind of sort of slowly getting into trouble, uh, my thoughts on playing Atlas in a solo environment. Now, if you still don't own this game, the first thing you should know is there's no single player, there's no single player campaign, and I don't know of a way I would play this game without playing on some kind of server, even if I had to open the server myself and only invite me to it. So that is one major mark against the game for, you know, solo play. Uh, you'll notice, though, that in the last video and in this one, I'm by myself. And I'm by myself because I keep playing at weird times, my company's not around, and also I really like exploring, and I like kind of getting my own setup going before jumping in with everybody else and, and, and getting into the, you know, that other content. So for me, solo play is a personal preference. Does this game do well long term for solo play? I don't think so. From what I've seen so far, those big end game bosses and the treasure hunting, all the, all the different things that can attack you in this game, everything just seems more and more tailored to team play when you kind of start to get later into the game. The bigger ships, for example, require more people if you're going to efficiently steer and maneuver them. There's cannons you can put on the ships, there's multiple sails, and then one guy's driving. It's, it's kind of a mess if you get a bigger boat than the one I have here and try and, you know, manage that entire thing. Not to mention, depending on the kind of server you're playing on, the skill gain could be anywhere uh, between, you know, I don't even know what the skill gain caps out on in these private servers, but it can be rather uh, varying, and you just never know how long it's going to take you to get the skills required to level up to a respectable point to where you can fight some of those, you know, more badass kind of challenges. So despite all of that, you'll see me playing this game solo in some of these videos. I would like to meet up with the rest of the hooligans and try and do more of these bigger, you know, team playing kind of activities. But until I can find a good time to come on and, and, and play with them and record, that's just not going to happen. But I still really like the game and I'm having a lot of fun. So are there things you could do by yourself? Yes, absolutely. Can you do everything by yourself? It doesn't seem that way, especially if you get into like, if the if I go to the PvP tile on this server, for example, I don't think I'd fare well, <laughs> especially with no weapons, but you know what I mean. If I got a bigger boat with some cannons on it, I'm supposed to run up to each one and, and fire away, you know? I just don't think the game is built long term for one person. So those are my initial thoughts. Uh, now, this is coming from someone who hasn't put the most hours into the game. I haven't seen all of the ha all that it has to offer, and it's getting heavily updated just about every day. There's some new big update that comes out. So who knows what's to change between now and, and release? Uh, they're obviously still looking at feedback from people. So they might see, kind of like another game I played called Eco, uh, that the community really wants a way to play this game single player. And they may do more to help cater to those types of players. Uh, you know, this game is obviously, in my opinion, built for a PvP kind of environment, but they've had to make a lot of changes to make sure that PvE people, like myself, can still enjoy the game and not have to worry about someone, you know, <laughs> ganking you and taking all your stuff. No one likes that when you're, you know, the type of player I am. So... Who knows? But for right now, I would not recommend getting Atlas if you're the kind of person who's only ever going to play by yourself. Um, and you'll see here in a moment how that can go wrong. Let's jump back into the real-time gameplay, and uh, you'll see. Oh, no. We got rain, 
And we got water spouts, or whatever those are called. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm... I am doomed. I am the most doomed right now. Please don't. Please don't. Just... Oh, should I try, try, try to thread the needle? Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. No, don't need to spawn more. <laughs> nope. Don't need to do that. Oh. Oh, it's bad. Oh, my sail needs to be turned so I can get the hell out of here. Rotate. Uh, I'm bad at math. Rotate the... Oh, gosh. Rotate this way. Got to pay attention to where the wind's coming. Okay. Oh. Speed up. Speed up. Speed up. Speed up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gracious. No. Oh, this is why you get sturdiness. You could... You can travel right through these, but it's not good. I'm underwater. My ship is submerged. I don't even know where I am. There we go. And there's a there's a ship of, up ahead. There's a lighthouse I see. That is a ship of the damned. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. I Do I want the tornado or do I want the ship of the damned? I don't know <laughs> which is worse. I need to turn my sail more. I need to... Oh my gosh, the wind is changing so bad. I don't even know how I'm supposed to... Oh, there's the cannonballs. How am I supposed to keep up with this? Holy crap. What am I supposed to do? I'm going into the wind. I'm, I'm in the wind right now. We need to turn towards imminent doom just to get some speed. Holy crap. How? How do we survive this? I don't want to get my hopes up, but it would seem that we are leaving all of this in the rear view. Because up ahead... Never mind. Those weren't there a second ago. <laughs> We're just going to need to deal with it, I think. Uh, the good news is the ship, if you can see that on the top right, hasn't taken any damage. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe it's a server setting. The game might be having mercy. I don't know. I just used the level up to put a little more sturdiness on the ship. Maybe I don't even need it, but we're okay, I think. I think the biggest problem is going to be those ships of the damned. Um, the good news is there's two up ahead. Are you kidding me? We are, in fact, exploring um, some uncharted territory, which is good. But uh, the, the, the problem we're facing now is that we can't seem to avoid these stupid ships of the damned. They're everywhere. They are literally everywhere. What? How can I get some wind here? Please, any amount of speed. I will take it. I'm desperately spinning sails. It's so green. Everything is so green. I'm so screwed. I'm... Wow. Hello. I'm so done. Rotate. Hi. Ah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We, we're still okay, right? 4,000 to 4,000. My ship's doing all right. The, the frame rate's not, but my ship is. Please stop shooting now. Wow, they go so fast. <gasps> He's going to crash into me. Leave me alone. Holy crap. He's like in... What are you doing? You drive worse than me. I don't Now I don't even know where I'm facing or what's happening. Go away. Please. Okay, that was definitely some damage, right? Yep, that was some damage. I can repair options. Uh, there, There is a repair option. Hold for more options. That's just not option. Ship. What? Okay, I... I'm so screwed. I don't know how to repair. There has got to be a way out of this. How do I repair you? Oh, I don't have I don't have enough thatch. That's probably why I'm not getting the option. Uh, here's some. Okay. Recently damaged, repairable in two minutes and third. Are you kidding me? I'm damaged now. Stop! Oh my gosh. Holy crap! Oh, there's so much wood. There's so much destruction. It looks like we got away from him. 
where are we going? Which way are we headed now? I got completely turned around. Yeah, back home. Tail tucked between legs, back home. And just like that, the storm has cleared. Not, obviously the ships of the damned have not, but the, the storm itself has. Let's see if we can rotate some sails. Oops, go back, go back. Rotate. To pick up some wind. Go, 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 go. Ow. I, why? Why does the wind keep changing so dramatically? Oh my gosh, we're so screwed. We're so screwed. Look at the wind just spinning around me. Like, I can't keep up with this. This is an outrage. I will take any breeze, any light breeze, just to get me through this. Holy crap. Maybe I can try and turn into it more. Look at, look at that. Oh, I'm taking on water. I don't have a bucket. I don't have anything. Ow. I'm so done. This ship is done. I am done. Oh, please don't. Oh, man. I need more speed. I don't know how I can get it. I can rotate some more. Can I repair yet? Please let me repair. Nope recently damaged wow there's no way your ship is sinking damaged planks <laughs> come on man no why what did I do I didn't do anything stop please leave me alone I D stupid dolphin the hell do you think what do you think this is? Why are the dolphins celebrating my demise? You've got to be kidding me. Well, there's the ocean. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's nothing. I'm, I'm down a sail. There's nothing I can do. I, I'm better off dying and spawning back at, in my base, at, in my warm bed at home. At this point, I'm just kind of waiting for the ship to be... Yep, gone. Bloop, 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 bloop. Sinking. There it is. Goodbye, sloop. Rest in pieces. I should take some pictures, right? Here we go. That's a good one. I don't know if that's thumbnail worthy because it's really dark, but... Ugh. I got to get some good pictures of this ghost ship that just totally destroyed everything I've worked for. <laughs> Gosh. I hate you. Now what? <sighs> well, back home. I'm so distraught. I'm so sad. I worked so hard trying to get myself my own ship, trying to get myself just just, you know, find my own way. And here we are, back home. Square one, no tools, no armor, no nothing. We are as good as nude. But this is why, remember we started today talking about playing solo? This is why the game is a lot easier with friends. It's not that you can't play solo. It's that you got to be real smart. I've never been accused of being real smart. There's no clothing in here at the moment. Maybe I should put my skills to use. Maybe I should do things for the group. There's a lot of skill points I have right now that I got to put into various things. So here's what I'm going to do for you guys. Here's what I'm going to do. If you enjoyed this video, it's important to leave a like, share it, let me know, subscribe to the channel. Let me know this is something you want to see more of. And if you do, what I'm going to do is come back and maybe contribute to society and be a part of the group because we've tried the solo route. I've tried it on public servers and I've tried it on the private server. And it, it, it's, it's possible, but maybe I'm just not cut out for it. Maybe I just need to accept that I need to, you know, be a team player for once in these survival games. Um, if you want to see more, let me know. And what I'm going to do is, uh, yeah, I'm going to contribute a little bit. And I'm also going to consider maybe building myself a little house, something that doesn't require, um, you know, sailing 
and uh, maybe I can put some stuff in there so when I die, I can come back and be like, it's okay, I have some stuff and everything's fine. You can see this place keeps coming along too. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to them about where I could build a house because a little town is forming over the water and I think it's so cool. Someone's building the stone. I mean, there's a lot we can we can do. A bank! Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Oh, ter set territory message. I was just trying to open the door. Um, but there you go. That was Atlas, episode two. And uh, if you guys have any questions about it, I'll do my best to answer them. As you can tell, I'm not the best. I'm really, I'm really not the best at this game. <laughs> but I'll try to help. Catch you next time. <laughs>